Hi everybody, my name is Derek Saul, I'm Sports Editor of the Chronicle, and welcome to this week's edition of Sports Wrap. Our top story for this week is Duke men's basketball returned to action hosting Northwest Missouri State Saturday at Cameron Indoor Stadium, but they only won 69-63, a far cry from what you'd expect from the Blue Devils going up against a D2 opponent, and even though the Bearcats were the D2 national champions a year ago, it was an awful performance from Duke. They only made two three-pointers on the night, and it really could spell a bad omen for what everyone was expecting to be a really good season. I mean, Duke was picked to win the ACC by the media, and it was certainly not a showing that looked like the best team in the ACC. Duke football also had a pretty disappointing Saturday night when they lost to rival North Carolina over in Chapel Hill, 20-17. And in a wild last sequence, Duke, it looked like they were going to pull off the pretty unlikely comeback following a Tar Heels fumble. But on a bizarre play called 18 seconds left, Duke running back Deion Jackson threw a pass, intercepted in the end zone by Chaz Surratt, and Duke left, left Chapel Hill without a win and with any shot at an ACC Coastal title pretty much a zero now. And I'm sure you're sensing a common theme right now with disappointment, but Duke men's soccer on Friday, they were up 3-0 on the road at Pitt, and somehow they lost. They, they, gave, four, they gave up four unanswered goals, losing 4-3, and the downward spiral for the Blue Devils continues after being undefeated, the number two team in the country, they haven't won over their last five games. And the transition is already happening from fall sports to winter sports, even though it's still pretty hot out here in Durham. And we're starting to see most of the fall sports teams gear up for NCAA tournament play. Women's soccer, field hockey only have a few more games left. Uh, the football, football has a bye week. They'll be able to, to rest and we'll get to see if they are able to earn bowl eligibility when they come back and play Notre Dame two weeks from now. And Duke's currently sitting at four and four, and they likely need to get to six wins in order to secure an appearance in a bowl game. And make sure to check out all of our really great coverage this week online and in print. Our women's basketball supplement came out on Monday and our men's basketball supplement will be coming out Thursday and Friday. So make sure to check out all of that and more at thedukechronicle.com, wherever you're able to pick us up in print. And thank you very much for joining us today.